what's up everybody we're back with another video and in this one we're going to be talking about the playstation 5 pro and well for me is it worth it but uh we're going to be going through the blog post that was released uh, right after the nine minute stream with uh mark sarney talking about playstation 5 talking about the upgrades and things from uh ps5 pro to the ps5 so we're gonna go through the blog post look at everything as far as what's added prices and everything and all that and then we'll go back uh, after that i'll say if it's worth it to me um but yeah let's jump right into it okay so we got it up uh there's a couple main points uh in this blog that i want to go over and it'll mostly be about uh what's new to the ps5 pro some of the games it's going to have um some of the upgrades for it and also the price so right here we see we develop ps5 pro with deeply engaged players and game creators in mind as many have asked for a constant of runs even higher fidelity graphics with smoother frame rates at 60 fps we achieve this on the ps5 pro with several key performance features this is stuff that was added to it upgrading gpu uh, with ps5 pro we are upgrading to a GPU that has 67% more compute units than the current PS5 console and 28% faster memory. Overall, this enables up to 45% faster rendering for gameplay, making the experience much smoother. Advanced ray tracing. Uh, we added even more powerful ray tracing that pro provides more dynamic reflection and refracted refraction of the light. This also uh, this allows the rays to be cast at double and at times triple the speed of the current ps5 console yeah driven upscaling uh, we're also introducing playstation spectral super resolution or pssr and ai driven upscaling that uses a machine learning based technology to provide super sharp image clarity by adding an extraordinary amount of detail so this is like um um nvidia's dlss but with playstation uh, PS5 Pro provides gamers with amazing graphics and higher frame rates. You can hear Mark Cerny. This is talking about the video that we had here. So, um, one of the biggest things with this is that you'll be able to, I guess, finally be able to play like 4K 60, and it'll be like somewhat of a, I guess, closer to a fidelity mode, but at 60 uh, FPS. So now, most games, well, all games pretty much have a performance mode, which I guess takes to maybe down to like 1440p or something like that. And it's still, everything still looks good, but it doesn't have the ray tracing. Uh, the visuals are toned down a little bit. So it's um, cutting, the, cutting the fidelity for performance, in which I play that with just about every game, what, what, with all the games, because um, I'd rather have the 60. FPS rather than playing a fidelity and having a 30. Uh, let's see what's other hands we include PS5 Pro Game Boost. This one wasn't in the video that it showed, but it's talking about the, some PS4 games. Uh, this feature may stabilize and improve the performance of support PS4 and PS5 games. Enhanced image quality for PS4 games is also able to improve the resolution of selected PS4 games. I believe this was in there to say something about the Wi-Fi 7. Um, and territory is going to stand it. VRR and AK gaming are supported. I don't... Was, AK was on the um, original box, but I think they took it off of the new boxes for the uh, original PS5. Um, this is just talking about the, some of the games that's going to come with uh, PS5 Pro enabled. Uh, let's see, these games can be identified with PS5 Pro enabled label within their title. So certain games will have uh, PS5 Pro enabled and let you know you get a boost in your game with the visual, maybe frame rate. So right now, uh, from a third party, Partners, Alan Wake 2, Assassin's Creed Shadows, uh, Demon's Souls, Dragon Dogma 2, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, 
Gran Turismo 7, Hogwarts Legacy, Horizon Forbidden West, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, The Crew, Motorfest, The First Ascendant, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, and more. Yes, that's talking about the keeping a consistent link look with the consoles and uh, accessories. And here, this is the main thing, the price. Um, and it's going to be available November 7th, I believe. Let me see. I think that was it. Uh, 26 pre order start. Uh, now that's going to be uh, PlayStation Direct 26 and October 10th pre orders will be available at all other participating retailers. So it's going to be available to pre order first at uh, PS Direct. But yeah, I think a lot of people had Sticker Shock when we first saw the price because when. Uh, I thought it was gonna be like six hundred, but you see six ninety nine, uh, USD. Where's GPB? I'm not sure what GPB is, but euros, eight hundred euros, and one hundred nineteen thousand nine hundred eighty yen. So I think like the, one of the biggest uh, is is high in Japan, and I think they had already. Uh, Raise the price on the original PS5, and this is this is pretty high. And it's saying it includes two terabyte SSD, dual sense, copy Astro Playroom that's in every PS5. Then my biggest problem with this is uh, PS5 Pro is available as a discless console with the option to purchase current available disc drive for PS5 separately. Yeah, PS5 Pro launched November 7, 2024. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, my uh, my thoughts on this, because originally I was originally I was planning on planning on buying it, but now I, I, I right now it's kind of a no for me. And that's mostly because it doesn't have a disk drive. And all of my games that I pretty much have, have a, um, I pretty much have a disk for all of my games. The only game that I might have that I got digital that I can think of, think of right offhand is uh, Cannon Bridge, Bridge Experience. Um, but other than that, everything else I buy, uh, bought physical so for me uh 699.99 so 700 then plus tax that's that might be like 50 somewhere like 50 dollars or something 50 56 dollars plus tax with tax added on then this drive is about 80 bucks so it's maybe 85 something like that plus tax so they would already be over eight hundred dollars. Plus, you have to pay for vert vertical stand. Um, I have mine set up vertical. Vertically, I don't really like horizontal, so I have to pay for that. And so you've been spending close to nine hundred dollars uh, for the system. And like I said, the biggest thing for me is the fact that there's no disk drive that comes with it. Now, at seven hundred dollars, if it came with a disk drive. I wouldn't have a problem. I would probably uh, take my old PS5, probably sell it, and uh, then buy the PS5 Pro. But like $700, all digital system, and I have to buy a disk drive, I just don't really see. I don't think it was worth it for me personally. Um, and then, like, it looks like they are kind of trying to, well, they already are starting trying to push uh, the digital games, uh, digital systems. That's why even uh, the revamped version of PS5 Pro, you do have one that comes with the disk drive, but I think that this seems like they're trying to gauge and see how people are going to, uh, um, how they're going to accept it. But yeah, for me, 
I, I just don't know. Then the price of it in other countries, I was saying like even in Canada, if if you buy the one with the disk drive, it gets upwards close to a thousand dollars buying disk drive. You want to buy the stand, so it's a thousand dollars, and even for me, eight hundred, maybe close to nine hundred dollars with all the buying the uh, disk drive stand. Uh, I'm looking to build another PC. So for me, it's like, why well, spend that much on a PS5 where you're going to get, uh, yeah, the visuals, you do get an upgrade in the visuals and in your frame rate, but it just, I just doesn't really seem worth it for me. And if the channel was like a little bit bigger than what it is now, and I was doing a lot of, uh, like system doing reviews of systems, then yeah, I can see it. But like right now, nah, it's it's just not, it's just not worth it for me. Other people might look at it and say, be like, yeah, and yeah, that's that's what they were looking for. Uh, being able to have the ray tra ray tracing, uh, sixty fps, um. And I know uh, I saw that CNET. I think they were able to sit down and play play it. Um, and I was hearing that Final Fantasy VII looks uh, looks a lot better uh, because I think it was. Uh, I was hearing people say it was a little bit muddy and um, just on the regular PS5. But yeah, just personally for me, is it's just not worth. It. Yeah, because even for me now, I'm getting to the point to where once we see what the Switch 2 is, if if that's getting all those, all the third-party games and all that, that's where I'm going to be probably buying most of my games, which I buy a lot of a lot of the third-party RPGs and stuff that's on the Switch. I will get it on there rather than the PS5, uh, mostly because it's mobile and having RPGs. I like to play. Uh, Either on the go or just sitting down somewhere away from uh, the the computer desk, but I'm I'm hoping with the next switch switch to whatever it's going to be called that it will be able to handle all the third party games that's coming out. So I'll be using that as my third party games and and depending on what it is, uh, PC and I'll probably use the PS5. Uh, for the PlayStation exclusives. Um, but yeah, let's give my thoughts real quick going over this blog and seeing what was up with this. Um, but let me know what you think about the PS5 Pro. Like I said, for me, I'm pretty much a no-go. Uh, for right now, at least, if, if there's any type of sale down the line or if they do something that uh, maybe like packs it in with the disk drive and it's not as much, but I don't know. But right now, it's it's a no. But uh, that's it. Let me know what are your thoughts on the PS5 Pro, if you're going to get one, or if it's a no for you as well. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications every time I go live and post a video. Leave your comments down below as well. Let me know what you think. But that is it. Everyone have a good one. Be cool. Stay safe out there. Show someone some love. And God bless. Peace.